Hello, buzz calls. Welcome back to Belt Das Factorio, where last few episodes we came up with um, some rail designs. We made blueprints for it, and now it's time to set these uh, rail layouts tileable they are because we want to have a tileable base now it's time to uh, get them in practice i think i need a bit more wood because i need a ton of chests because no belts uh, which means uh, to transport forward items we need inserters and chests. You could do it without chests, uh, but I think that lags out the game a bit if the items are sitting there on the ground. And of course you can only have one item on the ground. So, let me collect a bit more wood for more chests and then we will see uh, what we can do um, down at that iron field south uh, to get the mining outpost in place or mining outpost, mining post. Here down at the iron patch, we first have to lay out the grid. And we do that by placing the first one of uh, these. And I think it has to go there because the other one would be way up there. So. That's how it goes, and then we will not have a cross there. We will have we will have something there. There are a few uh, trees in the way because here we will have our rail going through in a straight line and as we do not yet have cliff explosives we will move up there and then just pull the the power lines over here And after each one, we will have signals. And that's it signal wise. And then here, that's the masterpiece that we have for our smelting array. I think if I place it here, we can then cover the, the large part 
of the array. So that means we have station here and we rename that to I run field. We enable a train limit and have that set to one. And then as we do not have a turnabout in this station, um, so we need to go out that way. and come in this way. And there. Which means there we will have before the split and then actually just need that. So now it's just a matter of time placing all these things and then we have a lake there in the way but that does not matter. This is the next one and it just is sufficient to go here in this direction and I should say and we have another one. <laughs> Is this correct? Mm. Actually, if we half it, no, but can we set it that way? has to be this way but now uh, we can just say a uh, uh, relative and then have this there Does this work? Does this align with the grid? Does not. Because it wants to be there. Right. 
Because then we can have our, our smelting. in here or we could uh, as we have cliffs there I do not want to have it there but of course we need this here right so I do have to place some rails and once that is done then I can place in the smelting in here. We have the mining set up, up and running. Looking at the power, we have maxed out, but we only have two steam turbines. So I think we can add a few more and then let's add a train here. And we need another one here. And I, for now, I will fuel the, uh, the locomotives manually. And if we look at the map, we can see we have somewhat um, a set up going. We have one full quadrant here that's where we will build the smelting and for that we also have a blueprint um, is it Train station or smelting, yes. So, I think we can, can we squeeze in two? Yes, let's do it this way and then ah no probably not because that space is just not enough to uh, to get a, a, a rail going so here as the trains can move around we can do it this way and have the have them going haha <laughs> well that will not work out because they cannot go up there. So we will have to move the whole thing down a bit. Basically this is the this is the top most we can have. Um, rotate. Hmm. We can, however. Do it that way and then have this going in the other direction. Uh, 
Um, Let me see how I can squeeze that in properly and and set this up the way it's supposed to be. I did manage to squeeze in an exit for the uh, third one. It snakes a bit around here and um, we will have to redesign this eventually when we have... Uh, when we have the electric furnaces um, maybe it becomes easier maybe it gets a bit more complicated uh, we will see I fed all these uh, furnaces with uh, coal and that's probably how we will have to do it for now uh, on this train here I think that one is full, so let's set the, the the schedule. We want to go to the iron field, wait for full cargo, and then we want to go to iron ore smelting, empty cargo. And that's it. And there she goes. Um, and let's see... We could also place uh, trains here, but they will not go anywhere. And this seems to work. All furnaces are uh, being filled with, uh, with ore. And here in the output, we get some chests full. And this world being uh, not very tree rich, maybe we have to switch to iron chests. We will see. However, when looking at the map and our grid, we are constrained down here by cliffs, there by cliffs. If we would go in this direction, more cliffs. So I think next time we want to set up a bit of uh, oil processing uh, back here so we can make the jump to uh, cliff explosives uh, and then get off these cliffs so we can uh, really plan out our grid uh, also then have a smelter for copper uh, set up the copper array with the field back here um, maybe we can even think about coal and if there is a way to get coal also in these furnaces uh, all challenges that we need to overcome eventually but that's it for now hope you enjoyed it and join me next time when we tackle the next problems.